Destiny Renee Brewer was a witty, energetic, and sweet girl. She was involved in her community and made everyone around her smile. Her future was bright, considering what a talented dancer and pageant contestant she was. But all of that changed on June 25, 2010. Destiny and her family were hit head-on by a drunk driver. She was 10 years old. If Brandon Sluss hadn't made the decision to get behind the wheel that night, she may still be with us. We talk with one of Destiny's best friends, Madison Lowe, about how she coped with this tremendous loss. You know Destiny Brewer. I met her at dance, and we were both on a competition team there. Would you say that you all were best friends? Yes, absolutely. We clicked right away. We spent a lot of time together. And even though we went to different schools, we still always made time to see each other. And how old were you all? I was in sixth grade, so she was in fifth because she's a grade below me. Okay. Where were you when you heard the news that Destiny had been in an accident? I was at a friend's house and her mom came in there and asked if any of us knew Destiny. And after I told her that I was really good friends with her, she told me that there had been a really bad accident that she was involved in. After Destiny passed away, how hard was the funeral to go through, especially at your age? It was really hard just knowing that she was up there in that casket and knowing that I wasn't going to see her again and that she was really gone was really hard for me, especially just because I was so young and I didn't really understand why it had happened to her. When you were in middle school, you were on the school dance team and they dedicated one of their dances to Destiny. How did that make you feel? It made me feel proud that I was doing something in honor of her, but it made me upset knowing that I was doing a dance for her, but not with her. If you had the chance to see her now, would there be anything that you would like to tell her? I would just tell her that I love and miss her very much and that there's a lot of people that miss her and wish that she was still here and that she's made a really big impact on a lot of people. What do you want to say to all the people who make the decision to drink and drive on especially prom night? Well, to me, drinking and driving is a very selfish decision that you make and you're not thinking about anyone else but yourself. So just be responsible and don't make a decision that is going to ruin your life or the life of someone else. June 25th started out like every other day in the life of a 10-year-old, laughing, playing games, and hanging out with friends. But for Destiny Brewer, it was a day that could be considered anything but ordinary. After a day at the pool, Destiny, along with her two friends, packed up their bags and headed out to her grandmother's SUV. They left the parking lot, headed for home. However, Destiny would never make it. While driving along Kentucky 40, the SUV was hit head-on by a drunk driver. Their car was flipped and landed in a ditch on the side of the road, trapping all of the passengers. Destiny was pulled from the mangled vehicle and flown to an area hospital where she passed away three days later due to injuries sustained in the crash. Destiny paid the price for someone else's poor decision, and that price was her life. No one, especially a child, should have to pay for another's crimes. We can't bring back destiny, but we can save the lives of others. So it's time to take a stand and take back our roads by joining Destiny's Hope and helping to reform the DUI laws within the state of Kentucky. To stand beside us in our fight for reform, please visit destinyshope.com so that we can continue building life out of tragedy.